you may never have heard of these 20-pound rodents brought to California in the late 1800s for their fur. The state said that they had successfully been eradicated by the 1970s, but then in 2017, the nutria suddenly and mysteriously reappeared. They threaten farms and infrastructure, and if they start multiplying, it could be impossible to get rid of them. And as KPIX 5's Wilson Walker shows us, stopping that worst-case scenario will be a long, wet slog. There are amazing little wetlands scattered throughout the state that people have no idea are even present. And that's exactly where they thrive. Tucked around the otherwise dry and dusty Central Valley, you will find these small wetland jungles. And here in Merced County, you will find the epicenter of a California rodent emergency. This is where we've taken more nutria than in any other county in California. And wading through this marsh with a team from the California Department of Fish and Wildlife, you quickly realize what a challenge nutria eradication is going to be. Um, there's nothing quick about eradicating nutria, looking for nutria, nothing easy about it. Um, and you see that firsthand when you're sloshing through the marsh, uh, checking traps. Uh, last year we pulled almost 90 nutria out of this wetland here. We got a detection recently where a nutria had returned to this area, and so that's why we have returned with traps and we're trying to remove all the remaining nutria. The traps often catch the area's native inhabitants like this muskrat. They get set free, and that's another reason this job requires a lot of work. Every single trap must be continuously checked, and the nutria, they're putting in a lot of work as well. 13 months, they could, uh, the one pair could result in up to 200 individuals. Since we have nothing here in California to limit their numbers in any fashion. They also eat and dig in large numbers, so considering the amount of damage they can do, California is now spending $10 million with the goal of killing every last one of them. So what does that escalation mean? Well, more manpower, more technology. So, uh, this is our collector app and what we're using. Um, we can go ahead and pull up where cameras are. And not just a few cameras. Um, there are now more than 700 of these set up along valley waterways. The yellows are where we have had or currently have cameras placed, and the pink dots are where we have current detections. The cameras are giving the state a better idea of how many nutria they're dealing with and where they're going. What's important about working here is that there are all these rivers here, the Merced River, the San Joaquin River, that uh, serve as highways for nutria potentially to disperse uh, up and down the state. Because while the nutria pose a huge threat to the Central Valley's agriculture and its wildlife habitats like this marsh, even greater damage could come if they spread north of Interstate 580 into the heart of the state's water system. Our goal is to keep them out of the delta. Compromising those levees, um, compromising our cities behind those levees, compromising the state's ability to move um, water around for agriculture, for drinking water to Southern California. Uh, how confident are you that you can stop them? Well, there's only one chance we're going to get. Um, if we wait too long, then our chance will disappear and we'll have to live with them forever. So what's with all the sweet potatoes? Well, this is kind of the sweet potato capital of the valley. There are plenty of them laying around. Farmers have actually donated them to the cause. Now, can you shoot these things? Yes, you can, but they are nocturnal and they are burrowing. So let me tell you, they are kind of hard to find, and California is going to be looking for them for a long time to come. In San Joaquin County, Wilson Walker, KPIX 5.